I can't believe I've been living in airports for 19 days. It's now 6.30 in the morning and I pulled an all-nighter here in the Singapore airport. This airport's known for being the greatest airport in the entire world. But if you saw yesterday's vlog, we had a major issue. I can't tell it to you guys though until we're right to the bathroom. I can't really talk about what happened last night out loud. So instead, I'm gonna voice over this part while we get to the next terminal. I didn't want security to hear this, so I had to make a voiceover. Basically, what ended up happening last night was security was going around like 20 or 30 different security guards were just going around checking passports and boarding passes to make sure that everyone had a ticket out for the next day. But of course I didn't have a boarding pass because I was living in the airport. And what I noticed was they were only bothering people who were sitting down or sleeping or working, but they weren't really bothering people who were walking around. So I kept walking and walking and walking until I finally found a semi safe spot to sit down and I just did not go to sleep so I could keep a lookout and realize if I had to get back up and keep walking. I did this all night for hours so I got absolutely zero sleep last night so I am exhausted but I'm happy that I'm still in the airport and that I was not kicked out. Let's hope the rest area is not too packed up here. Oh my god yes it's completely empty. Oh my god this is so great. Guys Oh my God, I've never been so grateful to see the rest area in my whole life. Dude, I need to shave. Look, it's getting bad, but I'll do that tomorrow problem or today problem, I guess. 7.20 in the morning. It's in like two hour from now problem. I've never been so grateful to see rest area in my life. I do not like sleeping on these because you can't lay flat. So instead I'm gonna set up my sleeping pad right here. I'm gonna take a two hour nap because there's so many things to do today and I need a nap like immediately. All right guys, I am going to bed. I am so grateful. I've wanted this moment. I've been dreaming of this moment all night. I do wanna say, I wanna switch clothing so bad. So, so, so bad. When I first packed this clothing and I only packed one outfit and no extras, I was carrying the trunk luggage. You guys saw those vlogs? Like, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to carry it anywhere. I'm like, gonna have this for like three days. Then what happened was there was a hurricane in Florida, so I wasn't able to swap out the trunk luggage and Lauren had to mail me my passport. And I ended up having to swap out the trunk luggage with someone in Denver, like a fan who was able to swap out my luggage named Italia, and she's amazing for doing that. But basically, I thought that I was only gonna have to last three days with those clothes, and oh my gosh, so many announcements. <laughs> and it's turned into forever. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm sorry if you can't hear me with the announcements. I love you guys. I'm hoping to wake up at like 9.30, 10 a.m. Oh my God, the announcements are not stopping today. All right, I'll see you guys in like two or three hours because we got to get up and explore this airport today and I just need a little bit of sleep to get me through. Love you guys. Up to you guys. Anyway. All right guys, I just woke up. I'm feeling 200 million times better. So now we're gonna go get ready for the day and we're gonna do a lot of activities in this airport. It's about noon. Let's do it. So I'm still exhausted because if you watch yesterday's vlog and today, I'm running on like an hour and a half of sleep in like the last 30 hours, but I am feeling way better after getting ready. So first things first, my stomach is growling before we can go enjoy the airport. We're going back to the 24 hour dining. 24 hour dining. Okay, the same thing I got the other day because I really liked it. I asked for sweet and sour sauce this time, so it's a little different from last time. And here we are. So this time, um, I wanted sweet and sour sauce, but he said that he didn't have a container for me to put it in, so I had to put it directly on it. So let's see if it tastes good. I'm just gonna try it on the rice. Mm. That's good. If you're being sweet and sour, it's just a little bit spicy. Guys, so I just came over to this area over here because I just realized we're in a really bad situation. So one of my friends sent me a video by Yes Theory that I never watched before and they tried to live in this airport for four days, right? So I was watching it while I was eating and apparently after like the second day, I think it was, they got asked where they were sleeping just like I almost did last night for their boarding passes and they had to show it to not get in trouble. I don't have a boarding pass right now, number one. Number two, I'm not supposed to have been in this airport this long without a boarding pass or anything, so... 
I think I might have messed up really bad. So now I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm like literally panicking. I don't think I can stay another night here without causing major issues because then if I buy a boarding pass out, it's still a question as to why I was here so long. And the other part of me is like, all right, well, what if I just leave the airport and go see Singapore and then come back and see all the airport stuff tomorrow and get a boarding pass for tomorrow. But on the card that they have to look at to leave customs, it says that I arrived here two days ago. <sighs> so I don't know if they're gonna question that. So, but I don't really have a choice. I have two options, to stay overnight without a boarding pass or buy a boarding pass, but technically I'm not supposed to be here because <sighs> I've been here too long or try to leave, but I have no idea what customs is gonna say and then come back and see the airport tomorrow. I'm so scared to go through customs right now. I don't have any plan for Singapore. I don't know what's in Singapore. I don't have a hotel. I don't know if I need a hotel in order to leave customs. I don't wanna get in trouble in a foreign country, guys. I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna leave the airport and if they tell me I need a hotel, I'll book one at customs and tell them something. I don't know. I don't know. I did notice that a lot of the really cool things to do at this airport are on land side, so I have to leave the secured section of the airport anyway in order to get to a lot of those cool things that I want to see. All right, I think we're gonna go through customs. I have no idea what they're gonna say. My heart is gonna be pounding. I'm freaking the frig out. And then I guess we're gonna try to come back into the airport tomorrow and then do all the things that I have to do pre-security, which is a lot of the cool things to do in this airport. And if we make it through customs, then I'll book a hotel and try to figure out how to get around Singapore. I don't know anything about Singapore. Okay, all right, I'm not panicking, I'm fine. I'm fine. I might cry going through customs. I gotta keep my cool. All right, we're going through customs. Right now. I'm literally so scared. I feel like I could vomit, but we're on the way to customs. And I guess we're gonna leave the airport if they let me. I'm pretty sure at this point we have no choice but to leave the airport because if I stay here longer, I feel like I'm just digging myself into a deeper hole. I think I have to leave. Like, I literally think I have to leave. All right, it's gonna be fine. I have no idea if it's gonna be fine. Let's go. No idea if that was a full exit to the airport. Was it just that little machine? Or do I have to talk to someone? They didn't stamp my passport. I don't think that was the end of it. I don't, I don't think that was the end. Because now we're at like baggage claim. <sighs> Made me scan my fingerprint and everything. <laughs> but now we are over here. Just throwing everything. Okay, I made it out. But it's like, I feel really good about that. But at the same time, I'm so like, well, what happens now? I'm in the airport, but I'm now in the land side section, like the unsecured section. And I have no plan. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this. I feel like I made the right move doing it. I don't know if this was right, but I read online that it was like 48 hours you had to exit and I wasn't pushing that 48 hours. So I think I made the right move. I just have no plan. I don't have anywhere to go. And I know nothing about Singapore. And I just left the main section of the airport. There's a lot of really cool things to do on this side of the airport. So what I think I'm gonna do is go see if I'm allowed to go do those things right now to explore the airport just like we we're supposed to today. But before I do all of that, I'm gonna go talk to people in charge of this section of the airport and see if I can do all the fun activities that the airport has to offer like right now. And if they tell me, yes, I can, then I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna book a hotel for tonight. At least at a bare minimum, I have a place to sleep, <laughs> which would be so great with a bed and a shower. Oh my God, what? And then tonight in the hotel, I'll try to figure out how to get a return ticket to the airport. <laughs> and then come back tomorrow, I guess? I don't know, I don't know, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. As you can tell, I'm low-key hyperventilating, but I think that's a good plan. So let's go find all the activities on the side of the airport and go ask them if we're still allowed to do those. And then from there, figure out where we're going. And I guess Singapore. All right, I think we have to go up here to the activities. It's still so weird to me that the escalators are backward. so incredibly miscombobulated right now. Like I'm just kind of like just trying to function and understand what's even happening in the moment. But yeah, welcome to Singapore, baby. All right, we're almost at the fun activities, I think, where I'll talk to them. All right, one step at a time, Cassie. You're fine, you're fine. The whole point of these challenges is get out of your comfort zone and do things that scare you. And right now, leaving the airport is scarier than when I've been in the airport for 19 days. <sighs> So I guess that's a good thing, right? I wanna be out of my comfort zone. I wanna be freaked out. I wanna do things to push my limits. And now I'm alone in Singapore. So I guess we accomplished that, just not on purpose. All right, the place we're trying to go is called the Jewel LA. We're going across this like tunnel thing. going right over there into that bubble. Guys, 
up there. I think I see a waterfall. And I believe it's the largest waterfall that's indoors in the entire world. Guys, it's so crazy. I'm feeling such a mixed amount of emotions right now. I'm like nervous because I didn't plan on leaving the airport today. I have no idea what the day entails. For anyone who's confused, we are still in the airport right now. We're just on the land side, so you can get here without having to have a boarding pass or anything. People like in Singapore can just come here, but it is still in the airport. Guys, I just feel like I'm going through such a roller coaster of emotions, but I'm so excited to see this waterfall. I'm so happy, but I'm so nervous, but I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, let's go see the waterfall. Holy moly. I definitely did not expect this today, but it's absolutely insane. I can't believe we're still in the airport. We're in the airport right now, guys. This is the airport. I feel so miscombobulated. Me out. Guys, this looks like a store that would make sense here. It's literally just the store for these things. Hello? It's literally the entire store. It's the whole thing. Guys, you can literally cry anything you want in here, and there's so many different ones. Like the most random stuff. Guys, I feel like I'm like just getting like, oh my God, I look around this airport and there's just so much going on. Like I can't even function. And I've barely seen any of it. It just keeps going. It's almost like a mall, but an airport. I don't even know what to make of it. I don't even know what to make of it. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh my God, it's a Pokemon store and a Korean pizza. What's a Korean pizza? Pokemon store. Oh, all right, we can't go in every single store. Oh my God. All right, so update. I decided I'm gonna go find a place to eat. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the amount going on in this airport. <laughs> and also not knowing where I can sleep tonight. Like there's just too many things going on. So I need to go gather myself, get some food and make a plan. And then we're gonna go from there. I'm starving and I'm exhausted and I feel dirty. <laughs> so I think a little regrouping will really help. I am so lost. There was this taco place that I really, really, really wanted to eat at. And I just realized this place is a circle. I'm like, I feel like I already passed this stuff. And I kept thinking if I walked straight, I'd pass it eventually. And then I started passing things twice. And I'm like, oh my God, this place, this place is a circle. I am so lost. I don't think I'll ever find the taco place. Unless it's a floor down. Guys, <sighs> this place is rough. I also saw a place to buy a SIM card. But when I leave here, I don't know where that place is. I'm gonna need a SIM card if I'm leaving the airport. <laughs> My phone's not gonna work. What's happening? Guys, I found a place to sit that overlooks the waterfall. I finally found that taco place. I was on the wrong floor. And I had no idea it had this gorgeous view until now. The best view of the entire airport, baby. It's exactly what I needed right now. A nice calming waterfall taco dinner. So my solo goal is by the time I leave this restaurant to have a plan for tonight of where I'm sleeping, where I'm going, what's happening, and how I'm gonna get back to the airport to see the rest of the attractions. So I don't have time today to see the rest of the attractions that I wanna see in the airport. So we're gonna have to continue this tomorrow or the next day, I don't really know what's happening. So my only goal while I'm here is to figure out literally everything, any tacos. Guys, it looks perfect. I still have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight, but at least I got good tacos. Guys, we just finished up the taco place. I have good news and I have like, whoa news. I'm gonna start with the whoa news. Singapore is known for being the most expensive city in the entire world. Two tacos, hold your breath, was $24. That's $12 a taco. <laughs> so that was crazy. Now for the really good news. We don't have to quit the airport series, baby. I found a hotel in the airport in this building we're in right now. It's on the fourth floor. I think we're on the first or second floor right now. We gotta go up. Not only am I not gonna quit the series, I'm gonna stay in the airport, but I'm gonna have a bed and I'm gonna have a shower in the airport, in a hotel, in the airport. I am so freaking excited. What a perfect start to the grand finale of this series. <gasps> let's go and check it out. The hotel was $200 for the night, so let's go see what we get for that. 
nice. This is the hotel. I mean, this is the billboard for the hotel we're about to go to. Sleep is calling. So why does it say shower cabins are $25 an hour? Is it not included in the stay to shower? Oh, I hope that's, I don't know, wrong. Or that maybe that's if someone's not staying, they have to pay for showers and they're just showering in the airport. I guess we'll find out soon. the hotel inside the airport. Guys, I'm tripping. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god, this is the cutest room ever. Look at the mirror. It's tiny, but it's perfect. It's exactly what I needed. And look, guys, there's a shower. And the shower doesn't even have a time limit. <gasps> My first non-time limit shower. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, I could literally cry. Like literally, it's the smallest room ever, but it's so perfect. It's a bed, it's a shower, and the pink lights are perfect, because as you guys know, all I wear is pink. What else can I ask for? All right, and that means in the shower, I can also wash my clothes tonight. Oh. Guys, I just realized something insane. This is gonna sound kind of stupid, but it's like incredibly scandalous and illegal in Singapore. I just looked in my bag and I found something I'm not supposed to have. Gum. I have gum in my bag. Guys, having gum in Singapore is illegal. I knew it was illegal, but I just looked it up like how illegal is it? It's a $10,000 fine if you're caught bringing this into this country. Thank God I didn't check my bag. I didn't even know it was in there. <laughs> what do I do with it? Should I get rid of it before I leave? and go back through security, I probably should get rid of it. I need to like throw it out in a public trash can. <laughs> it's not even open. And what's crazy is I never chew gum. It was another airport on this series in the last 19 days that I got it for free at one of the airports. The Dallas, Texas airport, I have a perk where they give you free snacks. That was one of the free snacks and I haven't even touched it. Can you imagine if I hadn't even touched it and I got a $10,000 fine for bringing that into this country? <gasps> Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that. All right, so the plans for the night. The first plan is to shower and to wash this shirt and these pants. Then all I'll have after that is my hoodie, which needs to be washed, but if I wash it, then I'll have nothing to wear for the top. So the hoodie's gonna have to stay dirty. And I have PJ shorts, which are a little bit scandalous looking. I definitely shouldn't have packed them on this trip, but then we're gonna have to wear those. And then tonight in two and a half hours, there's a light show at the world's biggest indoor waterfall right down the hall in this airport. So we're gonna check out the light show. It's supposed to be one of the best in the world in about two and a half hours. But first, I'm gonna clean up, feel like a person, baby. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh yeah, but let me know in the comments below what should I do about the gum. That's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> yes! Wow, a bed. I'm obsessed with it. And guys, though, I'm not gonna lie, other than cleaning up, I don't even know what to do in this room. It's so quiet. It feels like so different from what I'm used to these days. <sighs> All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I think for now, I think I'm gonna shower. <laughs> All right guys, I have no clothes, so which is why you're just like zooming into my face in the worst position possible. I just wanna say, I'm so freaking happy right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, I know this is like the worst position ever, but keep in mind, I only need one pair of clothes, so this is why. Guys, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> I know it looks kind of pathetic, but like, I'm so, Happy about it. Yes! Take that laundry. <laughs> we throw some more soap on it, wring it out, and we're gonna have cleanish clothes, baby. Hell yeah. Guys, the moment I went under the covers, I conked out within seconds. I was literally just working on my laptop trying to get these vlogs open for you guys for probably like 30 seconds, and I conked out for like maybe 30 minutes. Hey, she'll come to my alarm going off because the light show is happening in eight minutes. We gotta go to the light show, baby. We're getting out of bed. Even though, oh my God, I could keep sleeping here. This is so good. So I realized I did have another shirt with me on this entire thing this whole time. I found it in my bag. I can't believe it. And I have this blanket and I have my PJ shorts and that is all that I have right now. Uh, everything else is drying because I washed it in the shower before, all this stuff. Yeah, everything is drying. So we're going like this. This is in America, so it's not normal to go like this. I miss this room so much. Okay. Oh my God, it looks like it's already started. It's not supposed to start for two minutes, but it's already lit up, so I don't know. 
to put this into perspective, that is the hotel. And this is the airport waterfall. Guys, if I was to pick one night in this entire challenge to have a room, tonight would have been it. This is a 9 p.m. For me to get here in the airport would have been so hard any other night without having this room. You're not allowed to sleep out here on the land side. Like, I couldn't even sleep on the ground here if I wanted to. You're only allowed to sleep after security on the ground. And even then, I couldn't have done it without a boarding pass. So like, this was the only option for tonight. And man, did it work out perfectly. And it's right for the grand finale, baby. I mean, there might be a few more days of the grand finale, but this, is the best grand finale I could have hoped and dreamt of. So everything happens for a reason, baby. All right, we're going back into our room. I'm gonna try to get some work done, but man, is it cozy in there. I fell asleep without even realizing it before. <laughs> what a perfect night. I can't believe we're still at the airport. I'm so happy and I'm so torn. There's the most beautiful work area out there overlooking the waterfall. But at the same time, I only got one and a half hours of sleep last night and I could barely keep my eyes open. I could get work done in the morning overlooking the waterfall, but it won't be all colorful in the morning, guys. And, but I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. This bed is so good. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I might, I might be going to bed for the night, but at the same time, I might be going out there and going balls to the walls on getting all my footage sorted for you guys and getting it uploaded so we have daily vlogs, baby. All you guys know in a minute, I'm going to think about that. Before I fell asleep, side so note, I was just here downing chocolate. All right, I decided I'm not going to get work done out there. I'm going to work on my laptop just in here in this beautiful, beautiful room. I just love it so much, and I could be in public areas all the time on this challenge, but never do I get a room like this. So, as much as I love the waterfall, I'm staying in here i'm debating on extending this for two nights but let me know in the comments below is that cheating i'm still in the airport but i'm just so exhausted and i'm trying to figure everything out and i can't if i go and live in the airport tomorrow i have to board a plane tomorrow and i don't even have a plane ticket booked yet so it doesn't really seem realistic so i mean honestly if i don't want to leave the airport i have no option but to book this a second night unless i end the challenge in the morning so i'm trying to think all of that out thank you so much for everyone who's liked this video the likes mean so much to me they really help the algorithm on youtube and subscribe if you're enjoying all of these challenges there's so many more coming up in 2024 so i hope that you guys are notified for all of the challenges and that we get to continue doing them throughout the entire 2024 because it's so much crazy that's coming up all right i'll see you guys tomorrow for day 20 holy moly i never thought it would last 20 days of living in airports baby and our first time living in luxury in airports love you guys bye good night i'm loving this ambiance all right we are putting the recline button oh it's reclining oh she's laying down flat tonight baby holy moly what a dream oh my god whoa whoa excuse you to the bed you know what's crazy is online this hotel or airport room had bad reviews because of the room being so tiny I am the most grateful person to be here right now. I don't know what these people are talking about. This place is like my dream come true. Don't they know there's no announcements in here? This is gonna be absolutely the best sleep of my life. I've never been so grateful to be in a bed ever. And you know what's crazy about tomorrow? Is I get to set an alarm. I could set an alarm to wake up six hours from now, maybe even seven. Last 20 days, I haven't slept more than three hours. And that is like the most luxurious nights I've had in the last 20 days was three hours. Normally I just get a nap here and there throughout the day and there's no actual like sleep time. This is gonna be so good. I just wanted to share this special moment with you guys. I love you guys so much and sleep tight and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 20, which technically starts in an hour and a half from now. And then we'll decide if we book this thing two days in a row, what we're doing tomorrow, I don't know anything. I'm just too tired to even think. So I am so excited. I actually set a real alarm tonight. Thank you for everyone who's been a part of this journey, who's made this possible by supporting with buying the merch. Not only does it help save animals, but it also helps me be able to do stuff like this and make the challenge just a little bit easier. I love you guys. Thank you for everyone who thumbs up and likes this video. Thank you for everyone who thumbs up this video. Let's try to hit 350 likes on this video. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot of challenges in 2024. This is gonna be a wild year. All right, love you guys, bye. In case anyone's wondering, here's the flight path for the entire trip so far. Enjoy!